Fresh fish rapidly deteriorates unless some way can be found to preserve it. Drying is a method of food preservation that works by removing water from the food, which inhibits the growth of microorganisms. Open air drying using sun and wind has been practiced since ancient times to preserve food. Water is usually removed by evaporation, air drying, sun drying, smoking or wind drying, but, in the case of freeze drying, food is first frozen and then the water is removed by sublimation. Bacteria, yeasts and molds need the water in the food to grow, and drying effectively prevents them from surviving in the food. Fish are preserved through such traditional methods as drying, smoking and salting. The oldest traditional way of preserving fish was to let the wind and sun dry it. Drying food is the world's oldest known preservation method, and dried fish has a storage life of several years. The method is cheap and effective in suitable climates, the work can be done by the fishermen and family, and the resulting product is easily transported to market. Types Stockfish Stockfish is unsalted fish, especially cod, dried by cold air and wind on wooden racks on the foreshore. The drying racks are known as fish flakes. Cod is the most common fish used in stockfish production, though other whitefish, such as pollock, haddock, ling and tusk, are also used. Clipfish Over the centuries, several variants of dried fish have evolved. Stockfish, dried as fresh fish and not salted, is often confused with clipfish, where the fish is salted before drying. After two to three weeks in salt the fish has salt matured, and is transformed from wet salted fish to clipfish through a drying process. The salted fish was earlier dried on rocks clips on the foreshore. The production method of clipfish or bacalhau in Portuguese was developed by the Portuguese who first mined salt near the brackish water of Aveiro, and brought it to Newfoundland where cod was available in massive quantities. Q. B. Salting was not economically feasible until the 17th century, when cheap salt from southern Europe became available to the maritime nations of northern Europe. Stockfish is cured in a process called fermentation where cold-adapted bacteria matures the fish, similar to the maturing process of cheese. Clipfish is processed in a chemically curing process called salt maturing, similar to the maturing processes of other salt-matured products like the Parma ham. Other Bacalhau is the Portuguese word for codfish and in a culinary context refers to dried and salted codfish. Fresh, unsalted cod is referred to as bacalhau fresco, fresh cod. Bacalhau dishes are common in Portugal and Galicia, in the northwest of Spain, and to a lesser extent in former Portuguese colonies like Angola, Macau, and Brazil. There are said to be over 1,000 recipes in Portugal alone and it can be considered the iconic ingredient of Portuguese cuisine, but curiously the only fish that is not consumed fresh in this fish-loving nation. It is often cooked on social occasions and is the Portuguese traditional Christmas dinner in some parts of Portugal. Mackerel, suco bangdo in Konkani language, is dried in Goa since ancient times. If preserved well they can stay for many years. Prawn and shark are also dried in Goa. Bacala in Venetian language, bacala is sun-dried stockfish, rather than salt cod. In other parts of Italy dishes made with salt cod are given the same name. Bacala dishes made with stockfish are soaked for several days to soften the fish. Salt cod, which is already soft, is also soaked to remove excess salt. Balak is the Russian term for the salted and dried soft parts of fish of large valuable species, such as sturgeon or salmon. Over time, the term has come to apply also to smoked fish of these species. Bonafisk is a variant of stockfish and is unsalted fish partially dried by sun and wind on drying flakes or on a wall. The most common fish used for bonafisk is cod, but other types of fish can also be used. If herring is used, the dish is called bonasalt. Dawing, also known as bullet or tuyo, refers to sun-dried fish in the Philippines. Almost any kind of fish is used, but the most popular variant uses rabbitfish, locally known as dangit. Cuttlefish and squid may also dry this way the amount of drying can vary. In the Labtinga variant, the drying period only lasts a few hours, allowing the fish to retain some moisture and texture. 
In the Lamayo variant, the fish isn't dried at all, but simply marinated in vinegar, garlic and spices. Dried squid Fesic is a traditional Egyptian fish dish consisting of fermented salted and dried gray mullet, of the Mughal family, a saltwater fish that lives in both the Mediterranean and the Red Seas. The traditional process of preparing it is to dry the fish in the sun before preserving it in salt. Guamegi is a Korean half-dried Pacific herring or Pacific soury made during winter. It is mostly eaten in the region of North Jongsang Province such as Pohang, Uljin, and Yongdeok where a large amount of the fish are harvested. Guryangpo Harbor in Pohang is the most famous. Fresh herring or soury is frozen at minus 10 degrees Celsius and is placed outdoors in December to repeat freezing at night and defreezing in the day. The process continues until the water content of the fish drops to approximately 40%. Hikarul is an Icelandic food consisting of a sleeper shark that has been fermented and dried for four or five months. Harfisker is the Icelandic term for wind-dried fish. Ikan asin is a dried and salted fish. It is an Indonesian dish and it is often served accompanied with steamed rice and sambal chili paste. Jaypo is a kind of Korean fish jerky made by pressing, drying and seasoning filefish. Katsuobushi is the Japanese name for dried, fermented, and smoked skipjack tuna, sometimes referred to as bonito. Kiumama, traditional Assanese dried fish. A kipper is a whole herring, a small, oily fish, that has been split from tail to head, gutted, salted or pickled, and cold smoked. Kusaya is a Japanese-style salted, dried and fermented fish. It has a pungent smell, similar to the fermented Swedish herring called surstroming. Maldive fish is cured tuna traditionally produced in the Maldives. It is a staple of the Maldivian cuisine, as well as Sri Lankan cuisine. Mohama Spain, consists of filleted salt cured tuna. The word Mohama comes from the Arabic Musama dry, but its origins are Phoenician, specifically from Gdr Gadir, Cadiz today, the first Phoenician settlement in the western Mediterranean Sea. The Phoenicians had learned to dry tuna in sea salt so they could trade it. Mohama is made by curing tuna in salt for two days. The salt is then removed, the tuna is washed and then laid out to dry in the sun and the breeze, according to the traditional method, for 15 to 20 days. Niboshi is the Japanese name for dried infant sardines that are both eaten as a snack and used to make soup stock. They are also eaten in Korea. Obombo is dried tilapia, prepared by cutting the fish open and drying it in the sun for several days. It is popular among the Luo and Luia tribes, who live along the shores of Lake Victoria in Kenya. Traditionally, fishing was strictly forbidden during the rainy seasons, and people relied on obombo caught earlier and preserved. Karuvadu is dried fish, prepared by sun drying it for several days. This procedure is traditionally seen in coast of Tamil Nadu in India. Various species of fish are sun dried, and storage timeline of these dried fishes varies from several months to years based on species. Tatami iwashi is a Japanese processed food product made from baby sardines laid out and dried while entwined in a single layer to form a large mat like sheet. Typically, this is done by drying them in the sun on a bamboo frame, a process that is evocative of the manufacture of traditional Japanese paper. Water activity The water activity ah, in a fish is defined as the ratio of the water vapor pressure in the flesh of the fish to the vapor pressure of pure water at the same temperature and pressure. It ranges between 0 and 1, and is a parameter that measures how available the water is in the flesh of the fish. Available water is necessary for the microbial and enzymatic reactions involved in spoilage. There are a number of techniques that have been or are used to tie up the available water or remove it by reducing the awe. Traditionally, techniques such as drying, salting and smoking have been used, and have been used for thousands of years. These techniques can be very simple, for example, by using solar drying. In more recent times, freeze drying, water binding humectants, and fully automated equipment with temperature and humidity control have been added. Often a combination of these techniques is used. History 
Salt cod has been produced for at least 500 years, since the time of the European discoveries of the New World. Before refrigeration, there was a need to preserve the codfish, drying and salting are ancient techniques to preserve nutrients and the process makes the codfish tastier. The Portuguese tried to use this method of drying and salting on several varieties of fish from their waters, but the ideal fish came from much further north. With the discovery of Newfoundland in 1497, long after the Basque whalers arrived in Channel Port Ox Basques, they started fishing its cod rich Grand Banks. Thus, Bacalhau became a staple of the Portuguese cuisine, nicknamed Fiel Amigo. Faithful friend. From the 18th century, the town of Christiansand in Norway became an important place of purchasing Bacalhau or Klipfisk, literally, cliff fish. Since the fish was dried on stone cliffs by the sea to begin with, since the method was introduced by the Dutchman Jappe Ipes around 1690, the town had produced Klipfisk, and when the Spanish merchants arrived, it became a big industry. The bacalhau or bacalao dish is sometimes said to originate from Christiansand, where it was introduced by the Spanish and Portuguese fish buyers and became very popular. Bacalao was common food in northwest Norway to this day, as it was cheap to make. In more recent years, it has become less of an everyday staple and mostly eaten on special occasions. This dish was also popular in Portugal and other Roman Catholic countries, because of the many days Fridays, Lent, and other festivals on which the Church forbade the eating of meat. Bacalhau dishes were eaten instead. See also List of dried foods Notes References Grandidier, A. 1899. Guide de la Migrant à Madagascar, in French. Paris, A Colin et C. Kurlansky, Mark. 1997. Cod, A Biography of the Fish That Changed the World. New York, Walker. ISBN 0 8027 1326 2. Silva, A. J. M. 2015. The Fable of the Cod and the Promised Sea. About Portuguese Traditions of Bacalhau, in Barada, F. T. and Rocha, J. M. E. D. S. Heritages and Memories from the Sea, Proceedings of the First International Conference of the UNESCO Chair in Intangible Heritage and Traditional Know-How, Linking Heritage, 14–16 January 2015. University of Evora, Evora, pp. 130–143. PDF version.